maybe you've heard it. Loud booms around the area and shaking have some worried there's been an outbreak of earthquakes in the last couple of days. Well, it turns out it probably caused by the extreme cold that we've had this winter, causing something called frost quakes or ice quakes. Russell Kinsall spoke with an expert to learn more just about what they are. Jasmine, in this especially cold winter where there is water, there is ice. If the water gets into a crack in the street and freezes and expands, then that causes potholes. If it soaks down into the ground and then freezes quickly, that quick expansion can suddenly move large amounts of soil, causing little earthquakes. I was sitting right here in this room and I heard a really loud boom. Susan O'Mara heard the sound on Monday at her home in Fairview Heights. She looked out thinking a car ran into a neighbor's house but didn't see anything. I didn't know what it was. Little shake to the house, thought maybe it was an earthquake. Robert Herman is a professor of earth and atmospheric sciences at St. Louis University. He has a seismograph machine in his office and checks daily for earthquakes. So far, we have not seen anything on our seismographs. Even though others in Fairview Heights and Caseyville heard the boom, Herman says frost quakes are usually very isolated and not strong enough to be measured. They're more common in colder climates, but this winter, frost quakes wouldn't be unusual in the St. Louis area. Water expands when it freezes, and it'll move things, and uh, it actually can move a lot of weight. Susan O'Mara is still coming to grips with the strange phenomenon she experienced. I'm absolutely floored. Never heard of a frost quake. I've Googled it since we spoke. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. Could they cause any damage? Susan didn't find any at her house. And on occasion, they've been known to cause a crack in the street or maybe a foundation, but that is rare. It's an unusual sort of thing we're having this winter. Live in South St. Louis, Russell Kinsall News 4. I've been getting a lot of reports about many of you hearing booms at various times, mysterious booms that seem to come from nowhere. Well, here's what I think has happened. Look at this. The ground is covered with snow, but it's been very, very cold. In fact, the ground is frozen as much as 18 inches deep. With the ground being frozen so deeply and water being in the ground, the water freezes and sometimes expands with force and then it cracks and that creates a sound which can come across as a loud boom or a crack. Not only that, if you live near a pond or a lake, ice on the pond or lake can also expand with a cracking or booming sound. And I talked with a fellow on the telephone the other day whose grandpa told him that sometimes sap in a tree can freeze and that can also make a popping or cracking sound. So the booms, the pops, and the cracks that many of you have been hearing are probably due to the fact that it's been so very cold this winter. Oh, there you I, go. I have not heard any booms or cracks. Well, now here in town, here in Terre Haute, mm. uh, the Crow Committee, now they'll they'll pop off some like, yes, little I've fireworks heard, and I stuff. Hear those. And mm -hmm. you hear those. But uh, I've got I've got a, a, a file this thick of people who uh, have heard these things. And they really are quite unnerving mm -hmm. when like you're just, you know, lying around or you're in the middle of the night and then boom, you hear that. And what we believe it is is uh, this cryocyzin. Mm -hmm. It's called a cryocyzin. And uh, water freezes, then it, it moves the earth. It's like a very shallow earthquake. A lot so. of folks are asking, what? what in the world was that big boom around Brownsville at about 3.15 this morning? Well, folks, it was thunder produced by lightning. And I know we didn't have any thunderstorms in the area, but we did have clouds that had negative charge and ample positive charge along the ground. And just like when you stick a battery in a flashlight, you know, you want to make sure your positives and negatives are all the right way. Well, lightning, when you have opposite charges like this, can form. Now, typically, we look inside a big thunderstorm, inside the thunderstorm cloud, the cumulonimbus cloud for ice crystals, ice particles banging around inside those updrafts, creating the different charges, or the storm over the land and you have the interaction between those two charges. In this case, though, it was just a nice generic cloud full of some ice crystals and some water droplets, but again, it was that ample positive charge along the ground where it was cold and damp, and that's what caused that circuit to form, and boom, we ended up with that flash or two of lightning which jostled everyone. 
I don't think anyone was expecting that. Maybe you ended up waking up saying, hmm, was that a sonic boom? Well, kind of, but it was thunder nonetheless. That's what happened in Brownsville this morning.